Hey some ninjas, it's Rose here. Good to have you back on the channel. So today we'll be talking about arithmetic progression and geometric progression. In the last class, we discussed the difference between a sequence and a series. So now we want to check the differences between arithmetic progression and geometric progression so that when we're giving examples, we can tell which is which. Okay, now let's check. Giving something like this, this is called a sequence, remember? If we had plus in between, it would give us a series, right? So now given a sequence, you're seeing a pattern which it follows, right? You're able to tell how we moved from the first term to the second, from the second to the third, from the third to the fourth, and then you have to find the next. They could tell you to find the next three terms or the next term, whichever one. But what can you notice from here? You can tell that we added three, to three to get six right so we added three and now what did we do here we added three to get nine right we also added three to nine to get twelve right so this tell you that you can add three to twelve to get what the next term which is fifteen okay and this way you are able to get the next other terms right now notice something with arithmetic progression it has to be the sum of something to get the next term and that thing has to be um, a common thing it has to follow a pattern okay would it necessarily be a common thing yes for arithmetic progression it has to be a common thing a common term to get to the next term okay that's why we have something called the common difference represented by d the common difference is the second minus the first the third minus the second the fourth minus the third okay now note that this is called your what your first term and we represent it with a okay so this is your first term this is your second term this is your third term this is your fourth term and then you keep it going all right so now the first term is a which is three right so now how do we get the second the common difference common difference is always the second term minus the previous term which is six minus three which is three right you could also say the third term minus the second term like it's always the one after minus the previous the one after minus the previous do you get it so your third term is what nine minus your second term is what six which will give you what three do you see how the common difference is gotten now let's go to a geometric progression and tell why it is different from the arithmetic progression now since something like this you have to know what was done to get the second, know what was done to get the third, know what was done to get the fourth, so that you can know what to do to get the fifth, right? As always. Now, what was done to get four? You know we can add two to two to get four, right? And we can also multiply two to two to get four, right? Now, let's see for the next one. If we add two to four, are we getting eight? No. It's only when we multiply 2 to 4 we get 8. So we now know that we're not adding. Instead, we're multiplying. I hope you got what I said. So now for this one, to get 8, you have to multiply 4 by 2. Now to get 16, you have to multiply 8 by 2 to get 16. Now you know that to get the next, you have to multiply 16 by 2 to get what? 32. This way you know that, oh, there's a pattern I need to follow. Yeah, in this case, we have a multiplication, not a summation. That is why it is called the geometric progression. Now, the difference between arithmetic and geometric is, for arithmetic, you have to add up to get the next term, or you have to subtract to get the previous term. Do you get it? While for geometric progression, you have to multiply to get the next term, or you have to divide to get the previous term. What do we mean? Going this way, 4 divided by 2 will give. Going this way, 8 divided by 4. Going this way, 16 divided by 8. Do you see? 
also here going this way six minus three going this way nine minus three six minus three going this way nine minus six going this way 12 minus 9 so do you see this is the pattern that it follows so in this case for geometric progression we have something called the common ratio remember that ratio is what division if you remember from one time we said it in this class ratio is division and it is rep represented with the letter r right now as always first term is always the first term okay and you know it's represented by the letter a so what's the first term in this case your first number two right now how do we get the common ratio the common ratio is taking the second term dividing it by the first term which is what four divided by two is what two you can also take the third term and divide it by what the second term so 8 divided by 4 is what 2 so you see that your common ratio will always be the same and your common difference will always be the same okay so now that we know the differences between the common the arithmetic progression and the geometric progression and we know the things that are involved in it we can now take them one after the other right we can now solve problems involving the arithmetic progression and the geometric progression okay make sure you look forward to the next class where we do or solve various examples do not forget to subscribe so you can get more videos like this like if you do enjoy this video and share with your loved ones if you need them to learn more until next class bye